Hey, how are you? I'm Slice of Otaku, and there is a lot that I want to cover in regards to the new Steven Universe content that we received, but I don't feel like I can properly until I address something. And that's the fact that Cartoon Network is, and has been, purposefully misrepresenting Steven Universe to its detriment. Now, this is a topic that was originally the basis for my recent White Diamond Needs to Be Bad for Good Things to Happen video, but I decided not to do that giving them the benefit of the doubt once more to see if they could live up to their word. And they yet again did not. Now, the promos for this latest batch of Steven Universe episodes, described by Cartoon Network themselves as one of this year's three arcs, are criminally misleading. This is something that I briefly acknowledged with my recap promo breakdown, that a trailer like this fails to represent the essence of Steven Universe that the Crewniverse pride themselves on. The crew have cited the show as a mixture of gem and human antics on a multitude of occasions, caring for both aspects equally as this combination makes Steven Universe what it actually is. But when it comes to promotional work, Cartoon Network conveniently fails to recognize this, preferring to heavily favor gem-related content. With these four new episodes, Truly, only a single one of them pertains to Gem Kind, yet for the most part, these promos focus on this alone. And it's not as if Your Mother and Mine was a half hour special, which some might argue it should have been as our first ever inquiry into the initial formation of Rose's Rebellion, but it's neither here nor there. The point is that this episode only provides around 11 minutes of content, yet so much of this content is bled into the promo. Honestly, they probably shouldn't have altogether, as almost every major point that this episode provided that we were unaware of prior was given away. It's like when the trailer of a movie gives too much and makes you feel satisfied as if you've already seen all there is to see, which is inherently terrible. Truly, in such an instance, you should only give what you can afford to. If Cartoon Network puts this much substantial content in just a trailer, then I'm under the impression that they have more to provide with this whole thing. That there is plenty more to see. But in actuality, they just sold every money shot this episode had to offer and used so little of the other episodes, only taking up a few seconds at the very end. So why do they do this? Why do they so heavily construe their promotional work in favor of gem-centric themes? Well, because that's what gets people talking. Ideally, you want to pull in as many viewers as you possibly can, and gem themes are interesting, especially because the Shroud of Secrets held over them as a whole. As Steven Universe fans, we have been strung along on this vicious cycle of plenty questions and a few answers. And so when the potential of our questions being answered is dangled in front of us, we're expected to flip everything, and that's exactly what they did. Provide a teaser with the caption, the answers you've been waiting for, and coupling imagery of the diamonds particularly White Diamond, who we've established to be one of, if not the most hyped thing in all of Steven Universe, with an emoji of a diamond. So of course, it's fair for us to expect some answers regarding the diamonds, but we received no such thing. With the exception of Pink Diamond laughing at the beliefs of Rose Quartz, everything Diamond related within this bomb, or more specifically within this one episode, as the others provide nothing in this regard, is pretty much just a visual representation of things that we already know and have known since the first two seasons of the show. And if you don't remember, we are on season five here. We're even provided a recap of the series thus far that specifically only focuses on the gems, which immediately paints a picture of a Steve universe that does not exist. Almost every action sequence in the show is displayed in only a few seconds here. The show is depicted to be this action-packed, intergalactic escapade in which the remaining forces of a one sizable rebellion must once again face the threat of these space tyrants that took everything from them. Which is super misleading because that only accounts for a fraction of the entire picture, and it's never truly depicted in such a fashion to begin with. But yeah, we're given this recap narration provided by the voice of Steven, Zach Callison, but his Steven voice is noticeably off which alludes to this thing being rushed to begin with. And look, if you're giving the fans of a series a recap in regards to gem stuff, then we're put under the impression that what's to come is so wild and incredible that we're in need of this refresher course. 
because nothing will ever be the same. But once again, despite all this buildup, three non-gem episodes and a representation of things that we've known for years. And as a reminder, in this instance, I'm not blaming the crew at all. I'm, I'm just talking about Cartoon Network and their blunders. Like, doing all of this may bring fans in for new episodes, but it also serves to alienate them. I mean, it's not as if there are no ramifications for misleading your audience. People are fed up with being disappointed, and some are deciding to even drop the show. And that's not what you want. Even if they do so momentarily, you don't want to be the reason for a show's downfall. Because in this case, it's not the fault of the show's crew. Yes, they make the episodes, but it's the network that's advertising the contents of the product, which in a lot of cases has been an absolute travesty. A travesty that has gone on for too long. With Steven Universe, there are three episodes that I've never seen, and one of them happens to be purposeful. I refuse to watch Rock Naldo. To begin with, I don't like Ronaldo, but that's not enough to keep me away from an episode. Cartoon Network is the reason I refuse to do so. The day before this episode released, Cartoon Network decided to promote it on social media with this image and accompanying text. If you can guess the gem, you can guess who you're going to meet tomorrow night on a brand new Steven Universe. Here, we are presented the prospect of a new gem entering the fray. New gems and gem character reveals happen to be one of the most exciting things that can happen with this show. And Cartoon Network obviously knows this. Capitalizing on the hype, enthusiasm, and theory-based creativity the fanbase of this series possesses, only to completely mislead them. Now, I was busy with something else when the episode came out, but considering I do this YouTube thing, a bunch of my friends also cover the show, and they let me know that there is no new Bloodstone gem, and that Ronaldo is very obnoxious in the episode. Now, if Cartoon Network had refrained from such deception, I would have certainly watched the episode. Would I have liked it? Who knows? But by pulling this stunt, I lost all willingness to find out. And it turns out that this misleading promo thing has been going on even before I started covering or even watching the show. Which once again was brought to my attention by my friends who make YouTube content. In this case, Awestruck Box. Now, I'm just gonna play the entirety of this promo for you because personally, I, I just couldn't believe it. It gave me goosebumps. It was just like, this all happened, yeah, but totally not in the way that they're portraying it to happen. Now, I do want to further this conversation in another video, but more so focusing on the actual publication and distribution of new episodes. So if you feel strongly about this series, I implore that you be on the lookout for that one and just think about what I said in this video. Let me know how you feel about it all because you all know how hype I was for all of this. And despite enjoying the episodes themselves, I really don't like the falsehoods that Cartoon Network has surrounded them with. But now that I've said all of this, I feel like I can properly proceed with the actual contents of the episode. So hopefully you enjoy this one regardless. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you. you